Mm -hmm. Well, there are many toxic plants growing in the world and a fair number grow right here in the gem state. But one plant in particular gained lots of attention this winter after big game animals started dropping dead. Extreme weather has had a big impact on wildlife in southern Idaho. Some of the pictures are humorous, like the one of this moose that wound up in a homeowner's basement, or this elk that did the same. Some of the photos are not so pretty, like this elk, and these pronghorn antelope that died after eating a popular landscaping plant called Japanese yew. Doesn't take much of these toxic leaves to kill an elk or a deer. Botanist Lynn Kinter says Fish and Game has documented around 90 animals that died with Japanese yew in their stomachs an extreme situation likely caused by our extreme weather, which forced some big game animals to forage wherever they could find food, including the yards of people who live close to traditional winter range. Japanese yew fills a particular niche in many landscapes because it grows well in shade and stays green year round. Yew also has a distinctive red berry. In fact, Kinter, the lead botanist with Fish and Game, bought a house with Japanese yew growing in the yard. Until this winter, she says she wasn't concerned. Until this winter, I haven't thought about it, really. And I think most people are that way. They don't realize that something could be that dangerous in a, in a particular setting. It is likely many people around the valley have yew growing in their yards and don't even know it. When pruned, yew is difficult to discern from other evergreens, like in this yard, where it's intermingled with other evergreens that are pruned in the same way. So what's the difference? The yew has flat needles that are about an inch long and only about an eighth of an inch wide. And they are two ranked. They go off the stem mostly to each side, although some stick up. The other species have, tend to have skinnier needles, very sharp needles. Zamzo's Nolan Guthrie agrees. Yew is a popular plant, but says people who live where big game animals roam should look for non-toxic alternatives. It's a good idea to remove them. They're just, there's other things that you can grow that will do the same thing. If you have yew and are determined to keep it, Kinter suggests wrapping it in burlap during winter. You can use clothespins to hold it initially if you want to get it in place. In the case of large shrubs like these, she suggests trimming it back first. As for the ewe in her own yard? I have a dog that chews on sticks and she loves when I'm, she loves to steal the sticks when I'm pruning the shrubs. So now that I know how to toxic it is, I'm not going to keep it. And our experts say Japanese yew is not a big concern in urban areas, mainly a concern for people living near that traditional wildlife range. Right, where the animals would come down. Yeah. So what can people do if they're worried it may have this plant around? First figure out if you have it, and it's kind of hard to tell, but as she said, softer needles that grow in two directions instead of all directions compared to other evergreens. And if you're not sure whether you have it or not, just uh, clip off a little sample, take it to your nearest garden center or to Fish and Game, and they'll help you identify it. And if you are in one of those areas, they suggest just get rid of it yeah. and put something else in. Good idea.